Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be making a tutorial video on how you can um, transfer files from your Raspberry Pi or transfer, yes, transfer files from your Raspberry Pi to your um, Windows based desktop computer with uh, Samba. So let's start. Uh, Let's open up the terminal. So, uh, Alt Control T. Zoom in there so you can see better. The first thing we have to do is we need to type in sudo apt get update. So Raspberry Pi or Raspbian doesn't come with uh, it doesn't come with Samba by default. You have to install it. So the next thing we have to do is we have to type in sudo apt get upgrade. I think it's um, it will also make it possible for you to transfer files to a um, Linux based computer as well. So you could turn your Raspberry Pi 4 into a um, very inexpensive file server. It's a lot cheaper than getting a whole computer like a Windows base or a X8, X64 based computer which are quite expensive. Um, if you want to get a new computer, if you want to build it from scratch or buy a new one from the shop, uh, it will cost you at least six to eight hundred dollars for just a regular computer or if you want to buy one on eBay or use one, um, it, it can cost you anywhere from three to five hundred dollars but then you do have to pay a lot of money in shipping because it's such a heavy item but um, if you use the Raspberry Pi for as a um, file server uh, the advantages of that is that it doesn't use a lot of power you know there's not a lot of power consumption because I think the Raspberry Pi 4 uses maybe 5 watts or so I'm not sure I'll, uh, I'll, I'll um, put that in the video descriptions if I'm wrong about it but um, yeah it doesn't require a lot of power so probably at most if you um, put two hard drives in there and when I have a powered have two powered uh, hard drive docks um, it would use maybe 25 to 35 watts or something which is a lot less than um, using a computer a desktop computer which would probably consume at least 200 watts or more depending on the computer and depending on how many hard drives you have on it and graphics card and everything it could, um, and it would cost a lot more money to, for you to use it so let me fast forward through this because you don't want to watch all this boring stuff it looks like it's finished updating everything okay good 
So let's go on. Let's make a directory or a shared folder. I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it share. Enter. And the next thing I have to do is I need to install Samba. So sudo apt get install. I'll put all this in the video description so you could refer to it. So you could copy and just paste it. Okay, and enter. Yes. It says it asks you modify SMB config to use win settings. Yes. Okay, that's done. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your Raspberry configuration. So it's sudo raspy config dash config. And you want to go to interface options. You want to go to SSH. You want to enable it? Yes, I want to enable it. SSH is enabled. Okay. And write right enter so I finished that and that next thing I have to do is I need to edit the CONF file for Samba so just scroll all the way down just press the down key you want to go all the way down just I'll put all this in the video descriptions as well so it puts all this stuff in here with a semicolon so all of this is not active so this is a you have to enter that and configure it but I'll do that right now I'll show you so um, bracket so I'm going to call it share and closing bracket so path is I'm going to go back to file manager. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to go back to file manager and find out where that shared folder is. So this is what I want to share. <coughs> this let me go back if you didn't see that share. So I'm going to copy this and go back to that CONF text file I'm going to go here and paste that's the path that I want to share or the share folder so the next thing I want to do is I want to type in comment I'm just gonna call it pi shared folder enter and the next thing I want to do is I want to type in browse bubble and that's equal to yes and next thing is writable that's yes also I want to be able to write it to the folder so create mask equals 0777 enter so directory mask 0777 again public is equal to no okay I don't want the public I want it I don't want everyone to be able to access it so 
now we have to get out so control X that's exit and yes Y and then enter to get out so that's been modified so sudo so I'm going to change the password sudo smb passwd dash a pi so the password I'm going to put my password in here and you have to enter twice same password of course and enter so the password has been changed so the next thing I have to do is I need to start the service or sudo service smbd restart enter okay now that's done now I'm going to go to my desktop computer and I'm going to see if I can access my um, Raspberry Pi from it or the Raspberry Pi shared folder okay I forgot one more thing let's go back to terminal alt control T I have to find out the IP address of my uh, Raspberry Pi 4 so to do that you type in host name dash I so the IP address for this is 192.168.1.107 and the name of my Pi is Ace1000KS but on default it's just called Raspberry I'll spell it out just Raspberry what am I doing raspberry just like that but for me it's ace 1000 KS or I could use 192.168.1.107 so on a Windows computer I would type in 192.168.1.107 and I'll show you that or I could type in ace 1000 KS KS and access it so that's it now I'm gonna exit uh, sh I need to leave my Raspberry Pi on of course so I'm gonna go to my Windows based computer and I'm gonna check so first thing you have to do before you get started um, is um, you need to go to control panel and you need to go to programs you need to go to uh, program features turn windows features on and off wait until this thing gets populated go to uh, SMB 1.0 CIFS file sharing support sometimes these are not selected on on your windows 10 base computer so you would have to select it and click OK and it will take maybe um, 10 minutes to 20 minutes for it to install and then you would have to restart your computer and it should work and the next thing you have to do is you need to go to control panel again you need to go back here you need to go um, to um, network and go to uh, network and sharing go to uh, change advanced sharing settings go here turn on network discovery um, for file file and printer sharing turn on file and printer sharing for here in private 
and for public I also put um, for network discovery turn on network discovery file and printer sharing I also turned it on here and for all networks I didn't um, turn it on here for all networks so I wanted um, 128 bit encryption uh, turn on password sharing and then you just click on save and change and that's it and these are the prerequisites you must have in order to share um, files between a, a Linux based computer like your Raspberry Pi 4 with Raspbian and the Windows based computer like this okay so we're gonna get started okay now I'm on my desktop computer so I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to my uh, Raspberry Pi and like I said it's Ace 1000KS or I could put in slash slash 192.168.1.107 so I could log into it both ways. So when I click here, it's going to ask for a, a username and a password. So um, the username is Pi. I'm going to press Tab and type in the password. And I'm going to remember my credentials so I can log on anytime. So there isn't anything on here. So let me put a file in here. I put a file called test, and I'm going to put a time 12.05 a.m. and a date, of course. Okay, and then I'm going to save it and go back to my Raspberry Pi. <coughs> put this file in there. And I could move the files back to my desktop as well to my uh, <laughs> Windows based computer I'm sorry so I'm gonna prove that call test 2 <coughs> I'm gonna put it in here to my Raspberry Pi I'm going to delete the one that's on my desktop and move it back it says these files might harm may be harmful to your computer it's not because it's obviously my Raspberry Pi so I moved this file back to my desktop and it worked so let me get rid of those files and I want to go to go back to my la uh, Raspberry Pi and I'm gonna see if those files are in it I almost forgot one thing before I uh, before I go back to my Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna go back to here, and you notice how the Pi folder is also accessible. This is everything for my Raspberry Pi, and this is the share folder. So both folders are accessible. And let's say I wanted to mount this I want to create a shortcut for it I'm sorry I could just create a shortcut like this and it created a shortcut I'm gonna call it Raspberry Pi Ace 1000 KS and I'm just going to put it into my network drives folder. This is where I put all my network drives folder for different computers. Or we could do something else. We can go back. Well, I don't have to do that. I could just. Well, I do have to do that. What am I doing? 192.168.1.107. And I'm just going to map it to a drive. 
I'm going to map it to R drive, but I can select different drives that aren't occupied. So R drive. And now I'm going to go back here to Windows Explorer and go here to R drive. So I can access um, access my um, Raspberry Pi folder from here as well as well as a shortcut that I created here so both would work okay now I'm now back, I'm back to my Raspberry Pi I'm going to go into file manager and check if that file that I sent from my Windows computer is in there so it's share right there so that's what I put earlier right test 1205 AM um, 6 to 2020 I sent these two files and the other files just test so it worked uh, thanks for watching my ace 1000 ks 1975 signing out